so um so we were kind of talking or some uh, uh am i uh, i am audible right okay thank you so yeah uh we were looking uh, some members were talking or mentioning about uh, having some tutorials about project management tools and today as mentioned on your uh, technical document or challenge document actually we will be using we will be seeing uh Trello, how to use Trello and its introduction uh also you will uh, and then you will be able to or you will actually align it with the task and with the features that are mentioned in your uh, challenge. So what is Trello? Trello is a visual collaboration tool that enables individuals and teams to organize tasks and projects. It uses a system of boards, lists, cards to help user manage workflow and track progress. So it is just a collaboration tool. It's a platform that will enable more people to or more people in the same platform and they will uh, help us to organize the task for the team to mention someone on the team in order to accomplish specific task and to put some deadlines for that task and for that person to put some notes and it is just a method of uh, collaboration for for some projects so it classifies its system to boards lists cards and we're going to use those classifications or um, pillars we can say uh, actually classifications in order to make you know in order to make that path process easier or in order to assign information the tasks so mostly you will see that um if you read about Trello, you will see that it follows the kanban view so what is Kam the kanban view the kanban it's a workflow management method that emphasizes continuous delivery without overdoing the team so if we need to simplify or um simplify some projects and if we want to simplify or do that simplification without affecting the whole backbone or we're just making some a little bit of a change to the to that to our project management tool so that tool is called i mean that uh, system is called the kanban it's somehow a framework for agile it's called agile follows the kanban framework it's somehow a framework but it's just a concept okay we're able to include visualizing work limiting work in progress and enhancing flow so it is just to it is used to simplify the process and we can make uh, visual um, representations not representation but we, we can see the work visually by easily changing some things and just it uses the kanban view uh, so the, as I mentioned before, it we use here the boards, the list, and cards. So what is board? The first one is the Trello board. A board in Trello represents a project or high-level task. So when we make a class in order to simplify project management or um, task uh, assignments and overall the to see the project overview, we need to classify things into many uh, classifications, right? So the first one is board. So it represents the high level task there. And it, they are used to organize all the related lists and cards that makes up uh, a project. So which means the list and the card are going to come under boards. So each board can customize with background, but most, mostly background. So they're just kind of uh, a title or, you know, the a whole package of the list and the cards. So it is just enough to put some names, titles, and the background to just choose some um, thing for the background. And, like that then comes the list a list in a trailer is used to group that support cards so uh yeah card is card is the minimum uh, the last classification and before cards we have the list uh it's used to group tasks or cards so uh, yeah cards uh, like before mentioning cards like it was good to see what cards were before seeing the list but yeah, just work it. So under the list, the cards are included. So it is used to group the cards. So list clearly present different states of your workflow. So we have divided the the our trailer based on the board, right? We have just named we have just created one board and named it some something related with our project, which is the big view or the high level task. And uh, after that, we're going to list 
specific states typically re represents different states of workflow. For example, by default, when you open your Trello, it will name the list as like to do in progress. And uh, so, see, inside a project, we can classify the uh, the states or the steps like to do in progress and done and those are called we have just created three lists here this can be moved and reordered with an import and the other or the last classification is the cards the cards are mentioned earlier they're found inside the lists and they represent a task or an item of work cards can contain so they are the for example let's say that we have just uh, classified the list depending on the to do in progress statement so what things are uh, expected to be done inside the to do uh, card okay so if it is something like uh, maybe let's say we're building some machine we're going to say first we're going to draw the design then we're going to do the we're going to manufacture the parts and then we're going to assemble the parts those are the to do's in progress are something that's yeah yeah just you can understand from the names but my point is the to do are the list and inside the to do's are the inside the lists are the cards so the cards will contain things that are going to specific or uh, the yeah specific things that should be done in order to accomplish that list okay so what is the advantage of trello it's the first one is visual organization so it's usually easily visualized as in progress it makes collaboration easily it is flexible to add, to edit, to change, to make some change and something like that. And integrations, which is you can try to connect uh, uh, Trello with Slack, Google Drive and more. OK, so, so just keeping those concepts in mind, let's try to see some uh, uh, yeah, demonstration. So the first thing is you will go to the Trello.com page and you will be able to sign in. Okay. It's not that a difficult task. You will verify your email, and after verifying you, your email, uh, as I told you before, the first thing, if you are, uh, if you're signing from the, if you are a newly signing uh, customer, then you will, this will be there. Okay, yeah, the to do, the in progress, and then it, it will ask you. Okay, trying to sign up from the first, it will ask you if you want uh, to build some board from the beginning and not okay so you just can click skip 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 or you can just build your board or your things from the beginning but in order to be familiar with it just click skip and you will be able to come to see some uh, spaces like that okay this is actually i'm just inside my okay inside the board you can see this okay the example board is a board that i have created but for you this is the after like clicking the next the next or maybe after clicking after uh, creating some page you will be able to come to this and if there is a board that you have created from the beginning you will be able to go to that board or you just can create new board okay then the board title is something related with the project so let's say uh, what uh, okay, what what should be the board title I just said example there and let's say example too Okay, yeah, it's the, then the, there is the workspace visibility. So we can make our workspace private and public, okay? Um, when we make it public, it's anyone in the internet. So like you can share the, the link is going to be shareable and anyone on the internet can see the, the board and only board members can edit, edit. Private, um, actually only board members can edit, but also uh, you need to be, you need to sign into Trello in order to see that page. To, but if you're the board member, then you might be you might have the privilege to edit. Private only board members can see this board. Workspace admins can close the board or remove members. Okay. So yeah, just let's go with private or great. So example two, it have uh, it is just have this background and let's see. Uh, if you, if you, if you, for example, we have two boards here, so I can stay on this uh, board. Okay, this one is also, yeah, on example two, so that I, example two will, uh, will be, yeah, uh, example two will be uh, stared. And it's public, so coming to here, we can just change the background, okay? If we're not uh, okay with the background that we have chosen about the first, you can change the background and we can change, uh, we can do, 
many settings. So after creating the board, let's go to this board. Yeah. Yeah, we're not supposed to steer it. So the first thing we can do is, yeah, the, the next thing that we can do or that we should do is creating the listes and right. So add a list, we can do the list here. So uh, for that case, we have just, uh, for the, as I mentioned before, for the for a beginner level, it will have the to-do, the on progress and the done list, okay? So let's say here, um, um, okay, let's just assume that there is a project that's working on the interior design of the house, maybe. So this is for the, uh, sh what should we then for the okay still that's going to be uh, complicated yeah yeah let's just go to the to do okay. at least yeah and in progress on progress and the last is things that are there okay so inside our list is so what should what can we do um uh, we can change the list color, but it, it's, it comes for with the uh, upgraded, uh, yeah, upgraded. Uh, like we could start the free trial, but it's it comes with the premium situation. So like we're not supposed to do that. And, and after listing the our lists, then we need we can add a card. Okay, what are we supposed to do? And which is every specific things. Okay, for example, in case of uh, your meeting, mm, yeah. Have a minute, right? It's just grammarly, okay. Then, um, let's say assign task and follow up. Uh, follow up uh, every task. Okay, so let's say we have those uh, three cards, uh, three yeah, three cards on the to do list, and we can just yeah, better than this, we can just click to the uh, card, and we can be here, which is now we will be able to uh, to put some descriptions. For example, uh, having like what type of minutes should I write, or in what structure, anything that you want to say or you want to describe about this card, you can put it here. Okay, and then there's here this activity. Maybe if there is someone that you want to remind or remember or mention in order to accomplish some task, okay, you can just tag them here. For example, uh, there is me here, which is yeah, and Please, uh, yeah, be, uh, listen the meeting, listen, listen the ideas mentioned in the meeting carefully, I can say so. this will become as a notification for that specific person uh yeah and so yeah, we can see that we have one comment here and also i can add members or i can assign that specific things assigning that specific thing for one person that means so in this case it says that board member there is only one board member uh you need to add board members in order to assign them for uh, the specific task okay for example it's not for, for all the trailer it is for every single board here on the example one i have just well uh, like there's maybe growth doing then okay i have just mentioned here on the member side we can see there is two reddits which is i have used the, the other other my other email account as a uh Okay, there is like if you are, if you're writing for some person who is not there or who who's not already a member, then you're not going to say you're not going to get that person. Uh, so yeah, yeah, on the second board we haven't we haven't done this. So maybe we can go to the share and we can write the email of that person. Okay, here. Let's just say that it, it's not about me. Okay, there is the whole uh, many credits 
who are part of uh, Trello and you might send them the invitation to them. Okay, on the other side, they they are supposed to access the invitation. Here, this is my another email account that, that I have sent an invitation to and have just accepted the invitation and just joined the Trello. Okay, this is the other email account. So you can see that if I am mentioned in one place or assigned a task, then I have some unread notification. I haven't read that. So like, uh, yeah, I have. I am just mentioned or tagged here, so I can see that you know, we are using my another email account. Okay. And yeah, so yeah, exactly. So here we, I'm seeing the example or the first board. The second board that we have created now is called example one. So I have just sent an inv an invitation using that the first example one. I mean example uh, board. So that's why I'm seeing this board. I'm um, I'm going to be able to to see only that specific board. Okay. So yeah, getting back to this page, which is our original page, um, you can uh, let's see what other things that we can do. It's uh, we can add labels here, maybe depending on the company's uh, standard, or maybe you can put some things that are very important in green, some things that are uh, that are something that you're seeing or that you're sure that they are going to happen in yellow. Okay. So yeah, and you can just maybe put some, um, yeah, let's see what we'll create a new label. So yeah, have a minute is indicated by yellow in this case. Okay, we can just put uh, some titles that we haven't in this case, and maybe uh, some tasks that are really risky to do or that you're not sure that they are going to be done, then you can put them in red. Yeah, and you can put different types of labels. Okay, then you can do the same things on 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 progress and another uh, on uh, yeah another list. If you want to put some tasks uh, here, like if there are things that are going that are not supposed to be done on the first uh, on the to do and maybe if they're on the progress, then you can put them here. Also, you can make a copy of. Uh, uh, your card okay pull up the retail create a card okay, you can just put another copy of them and you can just if there are some tasks or lists that are supposed to be happening in both case on those to do in the progress you can make a copy of them and yeah put them here and after doing your like, assigning your tasks and things like that you can share uh, you can create a link okay and copy the link that this link is going to be shared and yeah they are going to be seen by uh, those are the links that you're going to share for other person or like if it is an assignment for the assignment so this is the we can consider that we had th those are the main parts of uh, Trello the page the board the list and the cards are the main thing and the invitation and also the due dates right so yeah dates in here you can put the due dates you can put a reminder before the specific date okay here so yeah, and you can put that. Maybe you can also che use a checklist. Okay. Uh, so uh, other features like the detailed uh, checklist add. Uh, use of the checklist they come with the premium features, but you can add some checklist. Okay. Uh, for example, are are the members on on the meet and the are the, are, are the members there on time? We can see. Is everyone? Um, how many middle are, are they expected? Uh, number of. Uh, You should use. Uh, maybe you can add some checklists here, and if when we click one of them, it's it's it will state that it's fifty percent of since we have just put it only two checklists for one list. Uh, yeah, checking both of them, we will check the hundred percent is fulfilled. Okay, so yeah, we can add checklists on this kind of uh, way to put uh, some due dates and assign a specific person for the checklist you will need the premium feature so yeah forget about that and you can just use the checklist okay 
so yeah this is the general overview and or the main parts of the uh sorry is the background so uh, so it sound disturbing it is kind of disturbing i know so sorry so yeah those are the main things that we can follow and that we can build just you need to put uh, what is required on your task using the specific uh, systems and you can uh, i mean steps you can add other things you can discover every detail things about Trello and use it for your own purpose or for your task. Do we have any question? Okay. Any question? So, uh, okay. You can continue. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. You're going to see things. You're going to discover things after trying it. If you have any question after trying it, just yeah, let's communicate in Slack. Piromsa, you can continue. I'm just going to ask you the way how we can add the members. So in each uh, issues we are having responsible person. So yeah. Just this, this is to ask you the, the way how we can add those uh, responsible person in order to assign the tasks also. Okay. So as I mentioned earlier, it's we're going to uh, we're going to mention the we're going to put the specific tasks as a card right as we have said. We're going to put every task as a as a, every specific task as a card. So we're going to mention uh for for, ex for example or let's go to the first board in example okay i just there is this the kickoff meeting who is going to be responsible for the kickoff meeting uh i have just added this one ready yeah it's me everywhere it's ready but yeah in the members you can go to the members part but first before that you need to make or you need you need to share your board for the people that you uh, for the people who are going to be assigned for the task, they, ne they need to be member from the beginning, okay? So that you need to go to share and you need to share your uh, board for every person that you are going to assign for a specific task later, okay? Then after calling them here and after sending them the invite link, they are going to join it, okay? In my case, I have just said that I have shared, I have invited myself using another email and I have just got an ex an, uh, here, I've just got an invitation here, okay? Ready, Grandma invited you to their board exam. So this is the name of the ex the board, right? This is the name of our board. So I was just invited for this and I've just clicked to go to board. Okay, so this is the board. I have just got the same UI or interface as the owner for the specific uh, board. So before this, I, I had signed up, okay? If, you, if that person or if that person that you're, um, calling haven't signed in you could or uh, they need to sign in and then they will get this uh, interface which is same as this one okay then after doing that after sharing them you need just to go to the you, you need to go to your specific card and members and call that member here and they're going to be mentioned here also then you're going to put the due dates here that it's inside the date you can put the due dates okay okay thank you um what i'm asking is uh, i think it's necessary to have the email of that yeah yeah uh, sure exactly sure i think i have checked your uh, email the minute and uh, the templates or your files and i haven't found any emails so maybe you're going to assign we're going to give your actually you already have our emails so maybe you're going to invite us for that specific task and we're going to check that but if there's an up update or if the, if you are supposed to include another member who any members that you want maybe i will let you know but for the time being just assume that you're going to invite us okay if we get the, the email then it's possible to assign Thank yes you. exactly okay yeah another questions Maybe later, yeah, okay.
so um, we can consider i can i will consider that it's clear for everyone and yeah try to play with it as much as possible uh, thank you everyone have a good day